and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. <clears throat> no one has ascended into heaven, but he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. If we were to take this verse just by itself, it would be an extremely scary verse from the scriptures. It would be extremely scary, and the entire Christian life would be pointless because none of us descended from heaven. It would be scary because we would not be able to find an identity in heaven since we do not come from there. No, we were born here on earth. We were born here in this world. We were born of our mothers, of flesh. The Son of Man that is referred to here in this verse is certainly Jesus Christ. He is that Son of Man who goes to heaven. And of course, we can identify this, this journey into the eternity by the Lord Jesus precisely because we know him as the Son of God as well. He is the Son of God, but not only, he is also the Son of Man. He was born of flesh, as you and I have, though he is the only begotten of the Father. But you see, brothers and sisters, the Son of God, or Son of Man, that same person, Jesus Christ, Although he died here on earth, on the cross, and was buried by us, we sang his funeral hymns, he lives. Because we also have praised and proclaimed his resurrection. As Mary Magdalene received him first resurrected, and the apostles, and all those of his time, and all of us even now, we proclaim him as alive. We proclaim him living, and living not just in the kingdom of heaven. We proclaim him as alive here, here on earth with us today and every single day. And this is the beauty of the totality of the gospel. The fact that not only is he son of man as you and I are son of man, we are his body. We are alive in him. We are with him walking and speaking and living here on earth. But as we do so, we are heading in the same direction that he pointed out for us, heaven. You see, brothers and sisters, though we have not lived from eternity, though we have not had an eternal seat by the Father as Christ did. In him, that is our origin. In him and from his breath and from the making of his hands, from the shaping out of his love for us, we are of heaven. And because we are of heaven, this is what we prepare for. 
So you see, brothers and sisters, as we, as we prepare to celebrate the great feast of the elevation of the cross in just a few days here, as we prepare for that feast, the church has deemed it worthy to remind us that with Christ on the cross, we are on the cross with him. And with him in the heavens, we are in the heavens with him. Of course, this life and this direction and destination of eternity with God in his kingdom requires us to seek and strive to live a life of repentance, one by which we identify with him, one by which we together show visibly to the world around us that Christ is alive here today, that his body is alive in us and through us right here and every day, and that he is heading, he is ascending with his body to the kingdom of heaven, together with us. Amen. That